Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We have quite a bit to cover today. Big earthquake, two pre-seismic anomalies papers, the latest geomagnetic jerk, forecasting for the solar eruptions we mentioned yesterday morning, and of course, the last 24 hours on our star. Following the filament eruption we covered in the morning show yesterday, things got much more quiet. We have sunspots, but they're not flaring. The other filaments are remaining stable. We'll hit those items a bit more closely, starting with yesterday's eruption. On coronagraphs, the northward release was overshadowed a bit by the bigger one off the south. That one was on the backside of the sun from Earth's perspective. The CME we care about will mostly miss Earth, but there is a small chance of a glancing blow impact coming in the next 48 hours, according to NASA's Enlil Spiral. Won't be anything major. Quick look up next at those sunspots. Couple small umbral complex groups on the disc and a bigger umbra over on the left cresting the limb. We'll be watching those just in case they get active. And the coronal holes are up next. Focus is on the incoming one on the south. Hard to tell if it has a northern extension, but it is a point of interest for sure later today. Let's go next to the seismic activity where a 6.3 was the largest quake of the day, striking relatively shallow depths in Colombia. Despite the fact that there was a bit of damage to structures and roads, government is reporting no loss of life. Chalk that one up as a win. Speaking of earthquakes, two pre-seismic signal studies are on deck here. First one looks at pre-quake ULF signals. That falls into the magnetic signal category, as the ULF emissions are generated along the reverberating magnetic fields touching the seismogenic zone. The other is a bit more buckshot, induced magnetic fields, atmospheric electric fields, and the atmospheric total electron content. They found all of them signaling hours to days before the big quakes, and that pattern was very consistent and all tied to the coming pressure release and the cascade of internal pressure effects. Top story today hits the latest geomagnetic jerk. It's an online preprint that won't hit the paper copies until September, and it's some good news sort of. They detected the core pulse that precedes geomagnetic jerks in 2022. Previous ones were the 2017 one in the Pacific and the 2020 jerk more globally. This pulse was under the West Pacific, where the West Pacific anomaly can be found, which is actually just the region where both magnetic poles are approaching, just like the South Atlantic anomaly is the region the poles are moving further away from, so the fields are weaker. Their data is suggesting that the jerk will be Pacific only and may have occurred as early as late 2024 or is occurring now. What that means is the acceleration in field loss and magnetic pole motion I forecast for this five-year period is likely to occur, but that this latest acceleration was not the finale, the move to a shift in months. Still accelerating, but not the scary one just yet. Latest geomagnetic jerk, another Pacific located anomaly. Folks, Pole Shift Conference this weekend, blacksmithing class next weekend, prepper super event two days to close out the month. The rest of the year is really no different either. Conferences and prepper days and special events. After the documentary comes out this fall, I imagine that the tickets to the events are going to sell out a lot more quickly. Maybe time to get over to us sooner rather than later. Check the events, register, and book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.